The Byzantine Empire became an object of scorn for their feigned ignorance of the Dark Kingdom to the northern border. It's said that the emperors of the Purple Cloth would quickly change the topic if Vlad's name was mentioned. The Volokian king's predations have become something of legend. Children are told if they're not in bed, Vlad will come for them, which isn't far from the truth. And their parents do share the same fear as well. Near the holy cities where Jesus once walked, the Queen of Syria allied with Vlad for a time, agreeing to a marriage between Roman, son of Vlad, and her daughter, Argentina. Her armies were called into war against Hungary. The lands of Transylvania would finally belong to Wallachia. The tortured Duchess, Jacinta, who was once imprisoned by Vlad for many years, was used for her regal claims on many duchies in Hungary. She was turned into a vampire and given her own territories to the north of Transylvania. Her tortured existence has not yet been fully used up by Vlad. Now for the Crimson Council. The Pechenegs are not much of a worry for us and won't ever be again. In fact, we use some of their stock for noble warriors to fight for us now. And for the Kingdom of Hungary, we'll continue to take over entire duchies and never a county. The length of time it'll take is great, but it'll be done through slow, methodical wars. Now there is a grand idea, and you have now been commissioned personally by Vlad to complete this job. If you provide names, they'll be added in. The creativity of Vlad knows no limit. She won't be the last one he uses for his own personal ambitions. Dragomir, your research is interesting to the king. Perhaps in time, we'll gather enough religious support to begin a proper Canite religion, one that tolerates and embraces our kind. Council, at the end of today's chapter, you may hear rumor of a power growing in the West. Some noble named Pendragon of the Bretons seems to be gathering men. In the grim lands of Wallachia, we have much more to do. We've been using people for their claims in order to expand our borders. We've been breaking down a mighty kingdom. They have so much land left. But very few men I have another duchy I want to go after. Though my only issue right now is that I can't really gain piety. I have too many sins. The church isn't a big fan of me. I've got to tell you that right now. Okay, so we could potentially get a claim on a duchy. If not through that, I could always try to use a marriage. I've got Roman over here who loves to go bowling with people's heads. And he wouldn't mind getting married for a period of time to get me more power. But for now, let's move on. We're also trying to get two hooks on a queen and a king's best friend. Right over here. Now, they did find out that I have a plot going on, but they can't stop me. And I have invited a few knights over. What now? No, no, no. It's got to be a duchy. So you do have a claim... But I can't really fight the Byzantine Empire, not yet. Chronicle writing. Okay, so we've got an innovation over here. I'm still trying to work on getting bailiffs. That means, let's see here, Cass's belly prestige cost down by 10%. Not bad. We are getting better. I also do have a lot of money. I should probably expand my lands a little bit. Here we go, pastoral lands. Would you really dread Vlad? locally if you served him but he was improving your people's lives i have to wonder he seems to be okay towards his own wetland farms i'll take that then over here farms and fields 0.5 okay better i have a lot of gold but why not make that much more gold all right we have a pretty interesting location over here in the mountains what would i want to build there you're not going to make a lot anyway. I could just focus on defenses. Yeah, we'll do that, I think. Bill forts. And I'm out of gold right now, which is completely fine. I just wanted to build up you know, everything locally. Who is trying to kill my patriarch? I mean, if he dies, I've got other people who are more talented now. There's a county. It's right by us, but again, it's rather minor. What now? It's only a weak hook. No, I need a strong hook. Oh, there's a proper duchy claim. Now that isn't too far away. She's very young too. I would like to kidnap her. All right, you know what? We'll keep an eye on her or I could imprison her now, but I would lose way too much piety. Piety I do not currently have. All right, go back over here. You're not bad at all. I could turn you into a vampire. Maybe you won't die. I don't know. We'll try it now. I've got to keep on training. I've got to become a better warrior. He made it. There we go. Now we have another Greek vampire. 
Look at that. We are getting better. Man, we have so many people locally. Ah, George, you're trying to kill him. Sounds about right. But now we know. Maybe he'll make it. I don't really know. Burying the hatchet. He's like, hey, buddy. Yeah, I was trying to kill your patriarch, but I don't want to be your rival now. You know what? Sure. But look at that title, The Broken Knight. Oh, it's a really cool title. He's been killing people with only one arm. Who are you? Ah, denounced? The church hates you. I'll give you a chance. Hold on. Old age is beginning to get to you. Never mind. You get nothing from me. Ah, I've gained a little bit of dread. Well, thank you. Not that my dread is going down. You're lucky I'm too busy plotting right now or I would try to imprison him. Yeah, he's quite lucky at the moment. What's happening over here? England, you are trying to thrive right now. Well, good luck to you. They've got some power. They're doing okay. That's one dead prisoner. Right, do I have other prisoners? No, only the one. So, once my plots are done, we can see what I can do next. I've been trying to sway over the emperor of the Byzantine Empire. But so far, it's not really working out. Ah, there we go. I would lose my piety. And... I mean, I can't really get it back easily, but I could always go on a pilgrimage. I'll do that instead. Sure. Now I've got a strong hook on him. I probably won't even need more. I just need to kill you. Ah, uh, I'll wait. I'm going to claim one her. Then your wife will help me kill you too. There we go. I've got a proper duchy claim. I've got two now. What do you need? <laughs> you want to bite me? Okay, sure. We can fight a little bit, pal. We can wrestle. All right, here's another knight. Oh, he's very good. I'm gonna actually recruit him. He's a Vlock as well? Even better, he's a legendary blade master. I don't want him to die. Wait for them to get into our lands, then I'll move in. Oh, don't you fret about that, I'll get them. We just need them to come after us. My powers have grown. I've got a new perk to pick up. Now. There's a few ideas on what I could pick up. A life of glory, I could focus on getting friends, or even on trying to help out my family. But I want to go for diplomat. That is what I want to do right now. All right, here's a new commander that has been promoted, but he's stupid. Get him out of here, Dan. I don't want him here. I could change up your contract, true. You know what? You get a march right now because you are on the front lines. I'm using her quite a bit. Maybe one day she'll die, but for now, she'll be fine. Good. I can now control one more domain. What's over here? It's only a weak hook. Nope. Keep on trying. We're not done yet. Now, for another innovation, what do I truly want? We've got over here fortification rights. Sure. Naval speed up. Not really for me. Coinage. We'll take that. We'll take that right now. All right. Look, I could have you change things up by promoting our culture. Sure. Keep on doing that. And for now, get me more piety. I need it. I really, really do. Okay. They're getting closer. Good, good. So I'm going to get my army together. Probably right over here. That should do it. I don't need that many people altogether. I'm not going to bring out my undead soldiers yet. I'll add them in later, but not yet. Okay, so I've got quite a few men together. I'm losing only some money. Here they come. They want to fight me? Let them. Actually, if I'm going to lose supplies, I'll get rid of at least that many. 1,200 can go. All right, good. Nor do I want to lose what I've gained so far. But I keep on adding up more money. A kind word. My paths happen to have crossed with Count Korkutan. And to my surprise, it seems as though he does not have a great impression of my friend Duke Tamir. Let me tell you a story about him. He's a great guy. Oh, my bad. <laughs> it didn't work out. Okay, they are trying to cross over here, which is a very bad idea. They should not do that. We'll go down to two speed at the moment. And here we go. The Battle of Severin. Thank you, Costin. That cost you quite a bit, huh, buddy? Aaron also wounded a knight. A count. 
They're not falling apart. We can chase them if we want to, or we can move in and just begin conquering. I know that hurt a lot. Let's have a look over here. I lost only 252. They lost over 5,700 men. They were brutalized, but they crossed over a river. What a bad idea. Look at how many we caught too. <laughs> that was cool. All right. Come on now. Let's move on. Costin, how many kills total for you? 160. I mean, he's one of my original knights, you know? He's been incredible. Let's have a look at my pin characters. No one's been killed via plots, I believe. Well, that's good. All right. Now, I've got to hire him. I could just kidnap him. Might not be easy. It's probably more work than it's worth, but I'll try it anyway. All right. They're moving in. They're trying to besiege the good Basilius. Sure. I'll try to get him to like me more. I don't want him joining in any future wars. What now? Claudius, you're a blade master? A legendary blade master? Oh, 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 boy. We'll talk about his soaring ambition. Oh, sure, Basilius. You're great. Look at that. He's beginning to like me. What an idiot. Okay, I got it. Let's go back. Fortunately for me, I'm not too worried about crossing over water. I have a commander trait called Border. Look at that. I've got a strong hook on her. By copying the queen's seal, I can fabricate a letter threatening increased taxes and circulate among her vassals, or at least threaten to. Great. Now I know what to do. You're still alive. I do not want that. That means people are going to help me out when it comes to killing him. That's really, really good. All right. Let's come over here. Oh, come on now. They should be popping up. We find them in just a little bit. We've got the Queen Mother. Is over here. Oh, they're not popping up for whatever reason. I'll have to check in a little bit. I thought they would be part of that plot. All right. Back over here, we have another battle now. It's not going their way. Good job, Alucard. That's my son. And it's over. We've won. They tried. They'll pay me 457 gold. Wow. That's a lot of money. All right. Costin, you killed 129. What about my boys? Roman killed 58. Alucard, 48. What a great job. All right, Tamir. Another dead enemy. That allows me to pay for a lot. All right. Instead of trying to kidnap that guy, fine. I'll take him in right now. Don't die. He didn't die. We have another vampire knight. The Winter Knight. What a great title. I'll have to keep an eye on you, my friend. All right, so we have done so much today. And we're a little bit stronger than we were. Right, she's 24. I could recruit her, but that's a lot of money. Instead, we're going to kidnap her. Probably after I finish another plot. Right, I don't need to kidnap you now. But I can kidnap her. Who's going to join me? Alucard? Sure, come over here. I'll give you some money. <laughs> he won't do it? That's fine. You don't have to do it, my boy. He's a good kid. What about my other knights? Eh, you'll do it. And after that, I can pay you too. How much? 68. Sure, I want a guaranteed chance to kidnap her. I'll keep her in prison for quite some time. Now, let's have a look over here at my court. We're taking our time. Just gaining money, gaining power. Count Thomas, you'll give me money. And for you, 30 more gold. Aren't they lucky? They get to be free today. My enemies just paid for so many things. I could build more buildings if I want to. I can do that. Let's have a look around here. I could build a new holding as well. I think I want to do that. I've got over here a castle. I've got another castle. I could build a city, a good proper city. Sure, five years ago. Let's do it now. What a shame. They found out about my plot to kill the king. It happens. It'll be okay. Time will move on and I'll still be here. He probably won't. Oh, look at that. They have a new king anyway. The previous one, well, he lost an arm. Huh. They replaced him quickly and easily. My agents have noticed that my guest here, the tedious woman, seems to have some fairly regular habits. Sure, watch her. We need to know more. Oh, well, look at that. It's all a big misunderstanding. Or over here... I will show them how far I can go. 
I don't mind if I have some tyranny. I'm going to kidnap her. It's my God-given right. I no longer need to kill you now. Enjoy your lack of arm. It would be interesting if I turned him into a vampire, then I used him, but I'm not going to do that either. But that means we can fight another war. We can go after whatever I want. I would like to make another one of my knights over here a duke. So let's go in now. I've been very careful to get everything together because I just want to break them down. Depends on where they show up at. Alright, let's see. I'm going to wait for your army to get over here. They do not have a lot of men. Oh, good job. A lot of my knights are becoming quite proficient in battle all thanks to Dan. With my agents coming and going freely at the court in my capital, she is within reach. The agents are in position to let in a small group of people in the middle of the night and to cover them as they depart undetected. Good. Do it now. And they might know, but I don't really care. All right. I got her. I got her. We just need to wait a little bit, but look at that. She's not in a dungeon. She'll be okay. She came here. She brought to me many, many claims. I don't really care about that truce. And look at that. Bohemia, you've joined up. That's even more territory. Okay, good to know. Well, forget about it then. We'll just go attack. Usually I wait for them to come over here, then I go after them. But if they're willing to fight two wars, then I better go do what I need to. Yeah, we can do that much, I think. All right, army, let's go. I just need all of you to rally together. That's a lot of men. We probably don't need that many men, or we could divide up. That's true. You'll come over here. My other army is going to be led by, let's see, me. And we'll head up. There. They want to fight me? Let them. But we might as well hit two locations. It's not like they have a very elite force. I hope not. What's over here? Oh, good. You're finally a proper physician. We've got to convert him for one. Hopefully you won't die. You might die, though. He didn't die. Look at that. Huh. And sure, if you want to fight, you can fight. But we have a proper doctor now. Oh, peasants want to fight me. That sounds about right. How many times do I need to teach them a lesson? And over here, we have another perk to pick up. Here we go. A conquest. Title creation cost down by 20%. I'll take that. I need that, I think. All right. Let's take our time. We're going to conquer so many locations because I want to capture that many more people. What's over here now? It has come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to Constantinople. Really? Yeah, they should praise me. They should do that. Look at that. He doesn't have a lot of gold. He's in debt. A lot of debt. Imagine being so powerful, but having that much debt. Oh, look at Wells. They're beginning to grow quite a bit. They've conquered so much. Good for them. We conquered another area over here. Let's move on now. Take over, let's see, further down to the west. Even if I don't need these locations, I can capture nobles, which means more money for me after the war is done. The Greeks are good people. Blancs are of superior Pearl fiber. We'll take that one. Oh, there they are. They're coming. They're on their way back. I've got four knights over here, but look at that. I've got Duke Costin, Gav. I've got a lot of good knights. Let them come fight me if they want to. Oh, look at that. He wants a white piece. I don't believe I can do that. No. You wish I could, but I cannot. All right. We've got one. Now you've got 10 knights. You can go beat them for me, Dan. I'll let you do it today. Let's go now. Kill them all. They have only 2,600 men. Let's keep in mind, I've been beating up on one kingdom constantly for many, many years now. Before we do end the war, why don't we come over here and I'm going to torture him for fun. I might find out a secret too. Not that I care. All right, that gave me more prowess because of my perk, Dark Insights. <laughs> Enjoy your stay, king. I was hoping he would go mad, but he didn't. 
That's a shame. All right, let's move on. We'll conquer a few more areas. I could stop now, sure. Oh, look at that combat practice. Plus two to prowess for my son here. All thanks to my wife, really? Huh, she's great. She's able to teach my boy how to fight. All right, commander promoted. Who are you? He's a block. Sure, let him serve me. But he died, what a shame. It happens. It does happen. Not everyone will live through that process, and I do understand that I could lose some very valuable people. Oh, it's over. Shoot. Fine. I was hoping to conquer more, but look at what I've gained. Even more land. Okay. Fine, fine. You can have your people back, I suppose. Better give me a lot of money for all of them. Does that count as well? Let's go over to my court. Where are you, young lady? Ah, there you are. She's mad at me. I totally get it. But look at what she has over here. A lot of claims, and maybe I'll never use them, but I don't know that. I really do not. Oh, the Byzantine Empire. Look at what they did over here to Croatia. How hideous. You're cruel, Emperor. That's ugly as hell. <laughs> All right. What now? Ransoms. Yeah, sure. Pay me a bit. Do it now. That was a good battle. They lost all but eight men. One dead duke. Let's see, a dead knight. And you were murdered. Wow. Aaron, the mauler lion. Then the beast killed too. All right. That's over now. Ten gold for that child. Sure. 10 gold for you and for you oh they don't want you okay drown her i'm fine come on now you're getting water on the floor don't do that ah, someone's gonna have to clean it up all right let's have a look over here i could create a proper kingdom i'm gonna do that now i'm a king of two lands which is intentional now i get more tax money and levies from dan who has so much power? I can't believe how much power he has. Maybe one day he'll be a king, but not today. Let's have a look over here now. I need to go honor God. I'll wait until I have more money. Look at what I have now. That's a lot of gold coming in. Okay, after you die, and are you going to die? It really depends. I should probably get a few people over here. So here's what I'm going to do to ensure I don't get hooks on people that won't help me. I'll come over here and have a look. Oh, I can convince her. Huh, amazing. Your own wife. For only 68 gold, she's willing to kill you? That's mean. I nearly feel bad for you. All right, here's a dwarf. Let's get a hook on him. Okay. And then we'll wait. We'll take our time. The emperor over here is beginning to like me. They're continuing to grow. Syria, how are you doing, by the way? Man, she's really not too bad. She's a crusader queen. She's 60. She's done so well. But right now, they're losing a war. I kind of want to help them out. <laughs> All right, well, my powers have grown. 58 for my own prowess over here. The training continues. Oh, she finally died. Maybe I shouldn't look at people. They just die. All right, let's have a look over here now. I've got my kingdoms and my duchies too. I've got a third duchy. I'm going to give it over to someone though. George? I could give it to George. Let's have a look. I'm not going to give it to one of my boys. No. It's got to be someone who is really not a major power. Valentin, the Sun Knight. Okay, you're really good. There's Roman, Alucard. Claudius. You deserve land, I think. Enjoy. There. Now, I've got to give him a better contract. He'll become a march, too. By the way, here's a bit of money. I'm very kind to him. His prowess has gone up. Wow, to 65. He's married again. Oh, she's a bit slow. And we're about to have a faction that'll want to fight. We have it now over here. We've got an incriminating missive. 
going to copy his seal. And now he'll join me. We do have a new perk as well. I could force people to become my vassal. I'm not going to do that right now. Defensive negotiations. I'll take that one. In case I want to ally people without having to engage in a marriage. Done. Okay, let's come back over here. You can come join me. I've got a hook. All right. Let's come over here now and have a look at scheme power. Who's willing to help me kill him? You are. Okay, sure. Anyone else over here? That might do it. No, we're at 89%. We need a little bit more. I've got to guarantee that he's going to die. That's a lot of money, my man. What about you? There. Now we've got a high chance to kill him. Then we can go to war again. I'm not done taking territory from him. Okay, Claudius, how are you doing? You've got your two counties and you've got your duchy. He has served me for a very long time. They better not kill him. Ah, there we go. Goodbye, king. Ha. It wasn't me. It couldn't have been me. I feel better already. Oh, look at that. They have a little queen over here. Well, we could turn her into a queen, but she wouldn't serve me, which I do not like. Wait, you have another claim? Well, that's great. But for now, let's go after that one. I'm still gaining a bit more piety. She's been a great boon. I'm glad we turned her into a vampire. Holy crap, little girl. You have a lot of soldiers under your command. Here they come. There they are. <laughs> all right. Let's do it now. Let's get it all together over here. Let's meet up. We'll go down to four speed. Oh, we have a proper rebellion. Okay. Very well. That should do it. I don't want you to gather more men. I just want all of you to meet up. All right. Let's go chase them down if we can. Then we'll go after the rebels. How many are we talking about? Oh, not a lot. Okay. That is fair and fine. Look at them fall apart. Brandomir, good job. I'm kidding. He got hurt pretty bad, too. You're actually not too bad at fighting. Oh, you lost one eye. But that's really not a bad deal, you know, overall. It's really not. If you're a vampire, you'll be okay. Now you look kind of cool. That was a very quick battle. They lost all but 10 men. Let's have a look now. Aaron killed 137, Dan 133, Tim 128. What about my kids? I need to know. Roman killed 64. Alucard is catching up. They're only young kids. Okay, Dan, you killed someone while they were running. I don't care. I don't care how you killed them. Okay, so we need to divide up. Manganel is over here. Bowman, you too. You can take that many men. Yeah. Move over here for now. Then what I'll do, I'll get all of my levies together. Like that. And I want all of you to go away. There, perfect. We've got 15 knights total. Let's all move together, then we'll come back. Dan, you're not going to command. I'm not a better commander yet. One day, hopefully I shall be. Let's go get them. I'm only doing this here because they might bring in another army. How much money do you have? 51. They could hire mercenaries. Sure. I no longer have a hook on her. That's okay. I could always get another one, I suppose. Yeah, we should. I don't want her to bother me. She hates me a lot. I did turn her into a vampire. And she's an old one, too. All right. Goodbye, peasants. They're gone. Let's go back out now. Are you any good? He's an okay commander, but not a great fighter. No, I want to keep him in prison, I think. Let's have a look right now. She's over here. Oh, she went crazy. Well, I don't need her to be sane. No one's going to pay for you. Why don't we impel him? It's been a bit. Ooh, went right in. Commander promoted. Okay. You're not so bad. You're a young man as well. If you live, sure, come over here. I'm getting more Vlock vampires. I'll turn a few people, not of our, 
you know, overall lifestyle, culture, and people, but I'm not going to do it all the time. I want to focus on the vlogs. Oh, they're not sending in a lot right now. We could ruin her reputation. Yeah, sure. I would love to do that. She's very angry. All right, let's go beat them. We'll go down to three speed. It'll be a very brief battle, though. There it is again. Oh, they're falling apart. Good job, Alucard. All right. Let's have a look over here. Oh, I've got some big bits of land to conquer. We need to move up north. We'll move around. All the way around over here. Perfect. I caught so many, too. Oh, they found out about my plot very well. I mean, I've got some excess funds I could, I don't know, get to know a few people that she's close to. Every woman for herself. The forceful knock on the door clears every bit of drowsiness from my mind. Who disturbs a king at this hour? Okay, it's a countess. She's talking about his secret of Duke Dan. Interesting. Huh. You can tell me or go away. <laughs> yeah. Tell me now. And she's wounded. All right. He's a deviant. I don't really care. Let Dan do whatever he wants. We're vampires. We kill people for fun and for blood. All right. Let's take over now. It won't take too long. If they bring in another army, I'll get them. What's over here? It's only a weak hook. No, I want a stronger hook on her, not a weak hook. All right, no foes are really coming for me right now. Poland, they're not doing too well. Wait, you died of natural causes at only 45? Here's a new ruler. He's a killer, too. I suppose we'll try to sway him. Yeah, I've got the time. We can do that. Vlad is about to win a siege over here, but we have another army to worry about, 1,900 men. And we have a duke fighting a war. Here's some money. You do represent me now. You can't lose your war. He's about to lose a battle, though. Oh, come on now. What do they have? Oh, five knights. You have only one. A very poor knight, too. Nor are you commanding. No wonder they lost. Well, he's too busy fighting for me. Okay, Dan. Come over here and beat them. You have one knight under your command. 21 prowess. Not bad. He should be able to survive. He'll only be fighting nine knights, but those knights are not very good. Yeah, he's doing fine. And we're winning. Dear God. Dan has been fighting for years, man. It doesn't matter how old you are, Dan has been fighting for as long as you've been alive. All right, I'll come over here to besiege. We lost only 166 men. And let's have a look. Good job, buddy. 126 killed by you alone. He took out, what, two of their champions? Ha. <laughs> what a good vampire knight. Oh, what a shame. We can't get a hook on her. She knows about my plot. All right, come over here. I'm sure we'll have another army coming after me, but... That's okay. They have been weakened by quite a bit, too. All right, let's move now at four speed. Four speed should be sufficient. I think it shall be. Now he's coming back. There we go. Come on, go beat them. I know you can do it. Oh, hold on now. You were murdered, really? What a shame. Your father died. He was quite young, too. Okay, well, we can kidnap you, right? We can. We can try it. Let's go do it, then. <laughs> now, let's go back into battle once again. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 500 men over here. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to come beat you. Let's beat them quickly. Now, we'll move over here to the east. Very simple and easy battle. I'm just here to weaken people. It doesn't really matter who they are. Oh, yeah. I've been fighting the same faction for decades. No wonder they have no talented warriors anymore. I killed them all. And that battle is over, too. Let's have a look at it. Right. Aaron, you killed 55. Dan, 50. Good job, Aaron. 
you killed another noble. All right, let's have a look over here. Dan is still besieging. Wait, hold on, Dan. You were fighting for me in a battle, but also commanding another army. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, that child's gone. That child is no longer emperor. Okay, well then I'll make you my friend. You appear to be okay. All right, let's get a move on now. I'll want to break down the Byzantine Empire one day, but I'm quite busy. Who are you? Oh, you're pretty good, and you like to torture. We could be friends, you and me. Come on in. Hopefully you won't die. Oh, he died. Oh, well, it happens. <laughs> it does happen. We got a new perk over here. I do want to pick up flexible truces, so I'm going to get adaptive traditions in order to unlock it later. Shorter truces and no prestige penalty for breaking them. I need that. Right, let's come over here now. Dan, you'll be done in time. Dan has been training everyone. All of my knights are becoming rather incredible at what they do. Duke Tamir, plus one to prowess. 54 total. All right, clear all notifications, and we can watch over the field. Get him now. All right, we have a prince over here. It would be great if we could keep him here. But instead, we'll get a hook. Goodbye, child. Oh, look at that. You command three counties. Why don't I turn you into a vampire? You might die, but you might not. Look at that. A vampire. You know what? We'll talk to him later. We could have him marry someone over here, I suppose. We have no girls at all. Huh. <laughs> Never mind, that won't be happening. All right, let's move on. One day he might pop up again, or they might kill him. I don't really know. Come on down, Vlad. Let's go check out that battle, 1,800 more men. They keep wanting to die. How many times do I need to teach you a lesson, old man? All right, come over here and take that location. Dan's about to win another siege battle. They lost only 41 men total. Aaron killed 63. Good job, knight. We've been killing everyone as of late. All right, Dan, move over to the east. And Vlad should be done pretty darn soon. It won't take long. The war has been going on for a few years now, but we've been dominating. I might get more mangonels later. Oh, hold on. She died. Yeah, I was going to keep her for her claims, but she passed on. What a shame. It happens. She was crazy. All right. Let's have a look over here. You know what? Let's keep to diplomatic niceties. I just want him to like me a bit. That way he won't come after me. All right, so we can get a dynasty legacy. I'll get a house of warriors. Plus two to prowess, and my knights shall become more effective in battle. They're already incredible, but I can't help it. I just want to kill everyone. All right, that battle is over. Hold on. Before we end our war, we need to go fight again. Look at how much I took. And there's a civil war happening. Good luck to you. Let's go down to three speed. Beat them one more time. Which means she'll probably be deposed, and we could fight again for another duchy. Four years of fighting. It's finally over. Look at that territory. Okay, disband all. That is done. Let's have a look over here. Aaron, you killed 38. Dan, 37. Claudius, 35. Tim, over 30 as well. I need to go look at my prisoners. I've got 25. Wow. All right. I'm going to make a lot of money today. Let's do it right now. I want that money. Over here, 50. 50, okay. I'm going to go through real fast. It doesn't matter how much they're really paying. I just want money. 90 for you. I'll take it. Especially before they all die in my prisons. After that, we'll have a look. I mean, I doubt I have anyone of note, anyone of talent in my prison, but we could potentially get a new warrior. One more. And it is done. Okay. Let's have a look at who is left. They're not going to pay for you. All right. What about you, lady? No. I'm just double checking over here. 
If you have a good duchy claim, I'll keep you, but if you don't, you're going to die. Oh, you're a decent steward, but I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, they're all pretty bad, which means... Oh, hold on. You're pretty good at fighting, but you have one leg. Nope, we don't want you here then. Goodbye to all of you. All right, they're all dead now. My prisons are clear and clean. I'm known for my very clean prisons. And they do see a lot of use, too. Let's have a look. It's time to go visit God in just a moment. I've got over 800 gold. Why don't we choose a new building to build right now? Especially in my capital. Barracks would be okay, sure. I've got over here one city. Yeah, those aren't so bad. I'm going to build a guild. We'll do that. For my castle, I'm going to build, let's see, barracks could be decent, military camps too. We'll build that. Now over here in my capital, going to upgrade my stone quarries. There. Now I feel better. If we're going to go anywhere at all, it's going to be a very long trip because I have the money for it. We're going to Jerusalem, 237 gold. And over here, I found a woman who has no husband. And she's got many claims too. Have a look at that. If I could begin to conquer the Byzantine Empire, that would be great. Why don't you marry Roman? I bet you want to. There. Marry him now. And we're leaving. Time to go worship God. You know, we vampires are known for loving God. <laughs> right, so we're heading right down over here. Syria, you're still alive? Well, good for you. They have a new king now. Wonder, how long are you going to be in control? You have only a little over 2,000 men. The Tears of St. Nicholas. Even when on pilgrimage, the priests still hold mass every Sunday. It is held out in the open when no church is nearby, but early this morning, a storm rolled in and has not ceased. Undeterred, a zealous priest is standing out in the pouring rain, giving a sermon about perseverance in the face of adversity. Interesting. I might become ill, but that's okay. I'll be fine. My piety is going up. I am known for my dedication to my faith. Now the queen over here, that young girl, she's about to lose a lot in her war. Here's a knight. Oh, you're pretty good. Why don't we recruit him now? Hopefully he won't die. Well, you've got to convert. You don't have a choice, really. You know what? I'll give you a little bit of coin. It's only 50 gold. Now convert. What's over here? Adam's innocence. As my party prepares to break camp, I notice a massive commotion nearby. A naked man has climbed on top of a large rock. Oh, okay. I could convert right now and just get naked. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I would like to get more piety. Heretic. Get him down from there. Now, you've been converted. Hopefully you won't die, but you might. Nope. We have a new knight. Good. He's not so bad. I'm still making a lot of money. 14.4 is a lot of money. All right. I've done it. I gained a lot of piety. I'll keep on doing that in order to raise my piety because I do want to change up my religion one day. And I need a lot of piety to do that. I've got over 1,000 now. Cool. That's really good. Here's another knight. He's a block as well. All right, come join me. You might die, but you might not. Nope, he didn't make it. What a shame. Okay, you are beginning to like me, but you might not keep your seat of power for long. What about over here? There's a lot I want. Hold on now. <laughs> that duchy? No, I don't want that duchy. Not today. We'll wait until things begin to settle down. Then I'll begin to plot about what I want. Oh, you're no longer fighting. Well, good for you. Why don't we have her killed? We can do that much, I think. I could get a hook on your sister, who's a queen of Bohemia. Really, now? Kidnapping her wouldn't be too difficult, but I don't want to kidnap her. Yeah. I think we'll wait, then. Right, I can't get a hook on her because she's a child. Boo. All right, let's have a look. Who might join me? Oh, you would. 
Okay, cool. You crazy evil man. Thank you very much. I do have a lot of secrets over here, don't I? Huh. Good. Alright, so I've got money. I'm currently building many new buildings. And let's see. I think I'll go on a hunt. Let's go do that. It's been a while. The critter. A wide variety of venomous critters greets me at a merchant's stall. Hmm. Why don't you give me a snake? Plus one to learning. Cool. Only for five years, but I still do need it. What now? You've been injured. Oh, come on. I don't care, Tim. You're a vampire. Calm down. You'll be okay. I'm back. That gave you more prestige. It was a very quick hunt, too. All right. Here's another knight. Oh, you're very good at fighting. All right. Let's find out if you're going to live. He made it. Another vampire knight. All right. We get to train again. I'm getting better. It is taking a bit of time, but I am getting better. All right. Time for her to eat. Oh, she died. What a shame. Let's see here. What can I do now? I suppose I could fight another war. The Holy Roman Empire has become rather powerful. They might be my future enemy. When it comes to what you have, what can I take? Now, I don't want her to become queen. Oh, you're ugly as hell. What about a good duchy? Ah, perfect. Right over there, too. I'll take that. Okay. We don't need a full army. I do have one ally I can call in. <laughs> sure, buddy. If you could, I would call you in. But that is a lot of prestige, and he doesn't want to. He doesn't like me. Oh, well. It happens. All right. So we'll need to conquer up over here. Understood. I think I can do that much. All of my knights are doing fine. Let's have a look at them. Austin. No children yet. Your wife is not a vampire. Oh, right. What about my own grandchildren? Let's have a look. They had another kid. Wilhelm. Huh. Amazing. Okay, Adrian. They want you to be married to who? A dwarf? I don't know about that. He's doing pretty well. He's currently 12. Vlad? Okay, you're only 5. I thought time was passing by a bit faster. It's not. Let's get our armies together now. I'll have one army going out there to fight them in battles. My other army is going to besiege often. All right, here we are, 2,800 men. That's a lot. Come over here. Dan, you'll move there, but in time, I'm going to have you move around. There they are, 5,000 men. I beat them so often, yet they're able to get more and more soldiers. I don't mind. It's good practice for me. Here they are. Let's go join in now. Oh, that's a proper big battle. I'm not commanding. That's okay. Claudius is very good at commanding. He'll be fine. Here comes Dan. They're done for. That was quick. All right. We need to divide up again. Dan, I want you to move over here for now. Get more supplies. We'll continue to besiege. It shouldn't take too long, I think. But instead, I think I'm going to have Vlad command. Yeah. Dan, you can wait there for sure in our other first army, but here is where I want Vlad. I want every knight I have to go out there and fight. Okay, my buildings are done now. I'm becoming more powerful over time. And look at that. You are now a reaver, though you're very old and pretty poor at your job. We'll never let you command. 20 gold gained. Very nice. We'll come over here now. We're getting closer to their capital. Oh, hold on. We'll move over here instead. I mean... How many would I lose? Only 100? Oh, well then forget about it. 100 mortals? I don't care. We'll pick up flexible truces. I've got my perk. That's what I wanted. Okay, they have no army coming after me right now. Then why don't you come down over here? Acclaim. Oh, aren't you daring count? But what are you going to do? I'm going to count for a very long time. Third generation, I believe. Yeah. Congratulations. Who killed your father, by the way? Who's over here? Oh, right. One of my knights. How tragic. All right. Let's move on. It'll only take me half a year to conquer their capital. I could turn their queen or try to. She could die in the process. Oh, here's Claudius. My vassal, Duke Claudius, has arrived at court with a bandaged arm and fear in his eyes. 
Oh, Alucard has been challenging people a lot. Come on, Alucard. I could tell him to stop. What's over here? You know what? I'm going to duel Alucard. I've got to teach him. There. He won't duel now. I beat him. You can't beat your old man yet. Try to come at me. I've got a huge castle. All right. What's over here? Someone is trying to kill Gav. Well, don't do that. Don't kill Gav. I like Gav. All right. Roman, go convert another group. Five years ago. Okay. You're getting me more piety. But instead, I want you to convert more people. We're trying to maintain the faith. One day, I'll convert when I'm able to, but it won't be soon. Anyway, let's move. 2,000 men. We took their capital. Let's come over here now. It's not quite over yet. Oh, you're fighting another army. What now? I could get you to like me more. And who died? Ah, someone in my prison. Then I don't care. Yeah, sure. You're a good guy. Oh, he really does like me a lot. You're trying to kill my knight? Are you mad? I thought it might be Roman. Those two are rivals. Huh. But it wasn't him. It's really interesting. You know what? Throw her in jail. Do it now. Then I'll torture her. Ah, I feel better. Okay. She's losing it. Let's go be their army. They're getting closer, and I'll just keep on conquering lands. I do love to draw out wars. It's like a good torture session. Taking flesh, blood, nails, all of it, bones. All right, so Dan, you killed 140. Dan's on top. Holy crap. Tim, are you okay? <laughs> You're killing everyone. Holy crap, he killed three people in one battle. Tim is on fire today. That's a lot of dead dukes. What's over here now? Yeah, patch up my blade. I might be in debt, but I've got to really keep my blade up. Oh, here's another battle. They're pushing for me, or they were, for a little bit. I now have a new cultural fascination. Okay, that's cool. There it is. Yep, Roman, come on. <laughs> he won't do it now. All I can really do is say, hey, bad boy, don't do it. Oh, what's over here? Plus two to your prowess. Yeah, between Dan and all of our vampire powers, my knights are going to be gods of war, all of them. They are now, but even more so. All right, that's done. We're not done conquering yet. We have more to take over. I need to take over a few more locations up north. I got their capital, though, which feels really good. Get them. Here's another one. It's all burning now. Oh, wow. Another army. Ignore them. Come over here instead. Let's zoom out a little bit. We have joined the High Medieval Era. Really? All right. Let's have a look at that real quick. What am I going to take? Castle Bailey's? No. Knighthood. Oh, that's even better. Children completing their education with a martial education. Yeah, as a focus, they would gain a Students of Knighthood trait. I'll take that right away. 35 years ago. We've got over here Divine Right. I could use more piety. True. Actually, you know what? We'll take that instead. I need that now. Divine Right. We'll need to know about me. All right. Come over here. Let's go beat him again. We'll stay at four speed. I could watch over every single battle, but it's been a lot of tiny battles too, which I don't care about too much. Oh, they're getting away. That's okay. I'll catch him eventually. All right, he's not done besieging yet. I just don't know how you guys are surviving. I don't know how you're getting more soldiers. Is it mercenaries? I don't know. Let's have a look at that. Nine knights total. Okay. Good job, Tamir. All right, we beat them again. Let's have a look at that. 1,900 men dead. Another dead count. Their poor nobility. It's been falling apart. Yeah, that was a very tiny battle. That was a tiny one, too. We did it. We beat them. All right, hold on. Before we go, let's go fight one more battle right over here. Five knights total. All right. Now we can call it. Have a look at that. Oh, man. Oh, who are you? You're done. Give me my money. All the battles are over. 
Okay, let's have a look. The Duchess has a lot of land. I can't wait to kill her. Eventually, I'm going to kill her and take all of her territory. I've got a good hook, so I can do that. People don't know that she's a vampire yet. Interesting. All right, let's go make her money. Oh, I can take your title, but I need 500 gold. If I could get 500 gold, oh, that would be awesome, man. Because we're very close to getting what we need. The gold for you. All right. Come back over here to my prison. And ransom you too. The gold's going up. That was 100 gold. Nice. All right. 10 gold for you. For you count 50. Just a moment. There we are. Kind of creepy looking. A helping hand. My vassal over here has recently found herself in a bit of trouble. Interesting. Yeah, sure. I could use a favor. Thank you, my wife. She's incredible. I love her. She's been a great wife. Two amazing children. Look at that. Adrian is about to be of age. Oh, we need to change up your outfit. You're the Ebony Knight. Does your wife fight too? A new wife? <laughs> no. She's a vampire. Look at that. She's a mayor. Pretty good at fighting. Three children total too. All right. Anyway. Are you good at fighting? You're okay at fighting. You're 21. But no, too weak for me. Play him. Okay, and you? Oh, hush it. Why don't we flay him or actually boil him? Yeah. As you can tell, I have a hard time choosing. I've got so many options over there. Yeah, so I could take your title once I get like 500 gold. That sounds like a really good idea to me. Kidnapping you would be way too hard, so that can wait. But pretty soon I'll have all of your lands. 290 gold. We're about to have a big rebellion. Well, a rebellion. I'm not sure if it'll be big or not. Have a look over here. So you're converting. Dan, you're training people. We could use more control, but really it would take too much time. So we're not going to do that. Let's have a look over here. I could host a party, but no, I need my money right now. So we're not going to do that. You've got a duchy claim, correct. But I can't fight the Empire yet. I wish I could. I really, really do. That would be amazing. I think we're done for now. I think we've done what we need to. In our following part, we should be able to form our Empire. To show you what I mean, there we go. I only need a little bit more land. Oh, I'm so close. I own 53 right now. But I do need 62. Once we do that... I'll become an emperor. Then who knows what we might do. There are other empires out there. I'm not the only one. The Holy Roman Empire is quite strong. Then you have Wells over here. Oh, a pen dragon. King Arthur's here. And he's quite powerful too. And also very young. Oh, that should be interesting. If his line continues on, they could be a great challenge to me. His stat line is incredible. Better than mine. He might even be able to beat me in battle, though my prowess is better. Interesting. Okay. The Holy Roman Empire. You're a lichen? He's a lichen. Two of your children died to the plague. That's unfortunate. Your brother died to the plague, too. Your father died to what? Gout. But you're a lichen, and you're having children. If you're having children, they're lichens, too. Oh, boy. That's going to be deadly. Very deadly for me. And you have control of all of that land over here because your grandfather was the Holy Roman Emperor. Are you kidding me? Okay, so now I know. I've got to build up over here. I've got to focus on my lands over here because he's got a huge army. 10,000 men. France, you've got 10,000 men as well, though you're not a vampire. Nor a lichen. Okay, good. Burgundy, you're strong at 4,300 men. The Empire has 11,000. What about over here? 17,000 men. And they are winning. Great Liao. Syria is beginning to fall apart. Oh, they were doing well for so long, but it's all going away. That's okay. Oh, look at him. He's a Crusader King and also strong. Though he's getting older, he has only one heir. Well, that's a shame. 
have a look over here real quick. I'm pretty curious. How many known... Well, actually, do we have any hybrids? Let's have a look. Nope. Not a single known one. Let's go over here to known vampires. Oh! I love the idea of mercenary captains becoming vampires. There's Duke Dan. We know about him. Hold on. Let's make sure they're not from my culture. Yeah. I want to look at other people. Wow. That's a lot of them. Another captain over here. He's 105. 58 to prowess. 43 for you. Now, who would be stronger? Oh, you're the strongest one. Okay. Yeah, not bad at all, though. There's a lot of vampires out there. Huh. Okay, everyone. We're done for now. Thank you for watching. Look forward to more later on. And until then...